Hi guys, Spartan765 here. But today I'm doing the first um, video in my series that I'm going to be doing is an AR-15 build. Um, I'm not going to go over the steps and do a video on how to do this, how to do that, you know. But I'll go grab, should have had this out before the video, but eh. I'm going to grab the basic, the basic things you're going to want for an AR-15 build. Here, as you can see, I've already got the lower completely assembled. Um, this here is a Palomino State Armory lower, 100 bucks. It's got Liberty stamped on the side there. Um, I got a CMMG trigger group in here, mil spec, very very smooth trigger. I'd say the pull is probably right at about, you know, about six pounds, but just really smooth. I was surprised. I didn't have to do a trigger job on it or anything. I got a uh, Magpul pistol grip and a uh, Magpul ACS stock. I really like the ACS stock. You got the little port in there. Um, got a uh, dual ambi, ambi uh, plate on the back here for slings. Um, the buffer tube and recoil buffer. Not sure what brand it is. Um, went down to my local gun shop. who uh, It's actually Dakota Custom Guns in Lakeville. Great guys in there if you're building an AR. They have everything you need. Um, I bought the receiver off here, obviously off of Palomino. The CMMG Trigger Group. I bought that when I was at uh, Shooter's Roundup in Morristown at Almonds yesterday. Um, the uh, Magpul pistol grip and the ACS stock, as long as the buffer tube, buffer, and recoil spring, and the plate. We're all per and obviously the castle that were all purchased at uh, Dakota Custom in Lakeville. Um, there wasn't any brand on the buffer tube, or the sling plate, or the uh, castle nut, or the recoil buffer. Um, it was just probably um, there, it was just in a plastic bag. You had everything separated in plastic bags, and I just went, I want this, this, this. I don't really think it matters what kind of what particular brand the recoil spring is or whatever. Um, or the buffer tube. I got a mil spec buffer tube on here. Um, I'm thinking of doing a 300 blackout build on this 10.5 inch barrel suppressor ready. Um, but obviously for that I have to do your, you know, fill out your form form one for your SBR, and then I got to get the suppressor. It's going to be a form four. Um, I'm going to do a trust so. I'll just have those two items under the trust. So when it's all said and done, unfortunately, the way the sh stupid, shitty, dog piss of an NF the NFA is requires me to, uh, as you can tell, I'm not a big fan of the National Firearms Act. Um, after all the bullshit and bureaucracy, I'm going to have to ha spend $400 in taxes just to ha make this have a 10.5-inch barrel on a suppressor. But, you know, I'm going to keep it legal. I'm obviously going to do that, um, you know. Four hundred dollars in taxes later, I'll have my SBR with a suppressor. Um, but yeah, this is part one. ARs are incredibly easy to build. I mean, all you really need is a good armor's wrench, and you gotta know your torque specs for your castle nut, for your barrel nut, for your flash hider or compensator, whichever one you decide to get. And you just you gotta know the torque specs. And a lot of people, and I've had people bring me ARs before that everything was over torqued. And they rack the gun. But anyway, you're going to need a good good uh, armor's wrench. I'd make sure you get one with the standard GI barrel nut. And then you got the free float barrel nut um, for two, the two different types of barrel nuts that you see most commonly. Um, right on the wrench there. It's got a beer opener right here. It's got a half inch, uh, plate, or a half inch uh, insert for a torque wrench or a ratchet. It's got an... Uh, Full length A2 style buffer tube wrench and the uh, castle nut wrench right here. Um, you're also going to want this here's a gas block guide. What this is, or not a gas block guide, a uh, barrel nut guide. So, what, you, what this is for is you put this in the lower, and obviously, you're going to want to have a lower vice block. And now, these two items here can be obtained for 35 bucks. Um, also, very, very useful. Whoops, I almost dropped that. Make sure you get a lower vice block as well. 
makes things so much easier, especially when you're trying to put those little pins in. Um, but anyway, what this is used for, you slide this in the upper, and then when you're, when you're tightening up your barrel nut, you push this through the gas block or the gas tube hole, and that'll, that'll make sure that your, uh, your barrel nut's lined up right so it's, your gas tube will be able to go right through the, uh, the upper like it's supposed to without any issues. A um, couple of great things. Obviously, you can get by without this. I'd say you'd be pretty hard-pressed to get by without some kind of a vice block to torque the barrel, barrel nut. You can, however, get by without this. It's just it makes putting the castle nut on and lining the stock up so much easier, as well as putting in putting in the little detents and springs for the for the takedown pins, and this pin right here for the uh, bolt release. God, that that pin can be a bitch. That's probably the hardest pin to put in right there, or that uh, that roll pin. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, they're very easy to build. Great gun for a beginner. To start building like I would not recommend an AK build to a new guy but ARs you can figure them out there's plenty of stuff on there for the internet on the internet to help you guys out but uh, yeah it's part one of the AR build don't know where it's gonna go yet so like I said I'm thinking 300 SBR 300 blackout SBR with a suppressor but may change my mind anyway comments questions leave me a message part